Hello guys, we are here at a uh, closed Phil's Ford dealership here in Port Jervis, New York. Um, as you can see, it is for sale. New KW commercial. There's the guys right there. Distal Burger and Perez. <laughs> there you see the sign here, since 1969. Wow. They were here for like 50 some years. <laughs> crazy they just i think recently closed down too i think in like 2023 or 2024 i gotta find out so i guess they had a service center here too because it says uh parts and service here as well and we, here we see the signage for pre-owned vehicles Wow, that's crazy that it's been here that, that long. Let's check out uh, the entrance area first. I filmed a couple places here in Port Jervis. Uh, I filmed the uh, closed Dunkin' Donuts down that way. Yeah, down that way. And I also filmed uh, an abandoned camera all the way down that way. So. This says truck center. Phil Ford's 55 years, great deal. Retirement event. Oh, so they retired, that's what happened. I guess they retired and uh, they want to sell the business. So these are the entrance doors here. All right, here we go. Service closed. As of December 15, 2023, Phil's Ford service will be closed going forward due to retirement. So they close in December 2023, it looks like. Hmm. I was about right. I said it closed in 2023 or 2024. Oh yeah, this place definitely looks like it's been here for a very long time. You can just tell by uh, the interior wall design here. Oh wow. Is that a lantern bug? These things are creeping up back again. They have a lot of them at my workplace too during like the fall season. Looks like they came back. I heard they're not good. You need to like kill them because they destroy like grass and crops or something like that. I heard something like that. And you still see some of the signage left behind inside there. Wow, they still have the placards left, like certifications and stuff in there. So left behind. Yeah, it's a shame this place closed, but I can understand why they retired because they were getting older. So, <clears throat> let's check through these windows, see if we see anything interesting. It looks like nobody's in there. <laughs> there are some tables left behind and of course I see the fire extinguisher as always <laughs> seems like they were doing a party here or something so I see balloons I don't know what this building is for but I don't think it's part of uh, the, the Ford dealership you see the truck center signage and it fills and I'm pretty sure they would have the Ford signage right here and right over here they removed it <sighs> and uh, these are some of the people's office rooms right here on the left side all deposits are refundable up to 24 hours Yeah, you can just tell how old the inside looks. They haven't really renovated it that much. Let's go around the building, guys. Uh -huh. 
<clears throat> hey, this is this is the uh, parts and service center here. Let's see if we see anything through here. Oh wow, it's pretty uh, dark. I can't really see much. That sucks. Let me see if I. Can... Oh, I see like a motorcycle there. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm trying to give you like the best view possible, but it's just pretty dark in there. I can't really see a whole lot, but I think I see a motorcycle on the left side there. Yeah, that sucks. It's too dark in there. <laughs> the Turbo DX EV charging station. I guess that's for uh, electrical cars, maybe? Or get a great offer on brakes and get ready to go. And, uh, pull to open and pull up inside. Drop off service. Uh, I don't want to film this guy because he just came. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he, he just got out of the driveway. <coughs> Ah, uh, let's see if we see anything. Not really. I don't really see any cars in there, but there are some ladders. And there's that ladder there. There's some stuff in there, but I don't really see any vehicles. It's on the right side. I guess those are. That's the parts center over there, because I see some boxes. I think. Uh, there's another door here. All pickup deliveries, please go to the showroom. So I guess the showroom's over there where I was before. Let's see the cars that they uh, accept American Express, Discover, MasterCard, and Visa. So this looks like the parts center here. Yeah, this is where you get your parts. car <laughs> that's an old uh, General Electric uh, AC unit right there there you see the pre-owned vehicle signage we're gonna go down here hopefully nobody's back here I don't I don't think so and they have barbed wire fences here too <laughs> interesting somebody's house over here as well right next to this place wow yeah you can just tell by the exterior design of this building that it's been here for a very long time like I said this place looks like it's been here since 1969 so that's crazy I don't know what this was right here they put like um, I don't know what this is called I guess uh, they used to have cars here and they would park them over here hmm interesting I don't know like if this place is going to be demolished or not I don't know if it's really salvageable too but I'm guessing they're gonna demolish it because it's an old building because that's what they usually do nowadays oh look at this cool old signage here I want to check this out wow look at this that's pretty cool this old Ford Lincoln Mercury signage wow there you go that's proof that this place has been here for a very long time this signage right here huh yeah, guys, since 1969. <laughs> That's crazy. We have a dumpster here. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that does it for this video of this 
closed Phil's Ford dealership here in Port Jervis, New York. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm off to work right now. Um, I might film tomorrow. I don't know <laughs> if I have time or throughout the week. If I have time, I'll film one, one or two places. So yeah, stay tuned for the new videos, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.